butterfly starts out as a caterpillar. And inside this caterpillar, there are, let's say, seven billion cells. And every cell, like a miniature human, has a job in that caterpillar. Some cells are doing digestion. Some cells are the musculature moving the caterpillar around. Some are the nervous system. Some are the circulation system. Every cell has a job. All the cells are working full out and the economy is just bustling and bustling along and the caterpillar is growing every day and growing and growing and growing. And then one day the caterpillar stops eating and stops moving. And all of a sudden, the cells inside this caterpillar, which were highly organized into the efficient uh, economic machinery to keep this thing running, the cells start looking around and sort of like the digestive cells would say, my goodness, there's no work today. There's no food coming in. So there's nothing for me to process. The muscle cells are saying, we're not moving anymore. And I, we have so many muscle cells and, and, and there's no work for these muscle cells. And at some point, the economy starts to lag so much that cells everywhere start to see that it's not working. The system is falling apart. The United States is facing a real public health threat from greenhouse gas emissions. Like somehow the rich will eventually get so full that they'll explode. <laughs> and the candy will rain down on the rest of us. <laughs> However, experts say unofficial numbers for the nation's jobless are much higher as unemployment in minority communities lingers in the double digits to as much as 17 percent by some predictions. The whole the American dream fell down, never to be heard from again. The United Congress is incapable of making legislation on health care, banking, trade or taxes because if they do it, they will lose their political funding and they won't do it. And then all of a sudden, from among the ranks of these cells, a new community of cells starts to manifest. These cells are genetically identical to all the other cells, but these cells see the world in a different way. These cells are called imaginal cells. And these imaginal cells see a different future. And from all the chaos that's around them, the imaginal cells actually start to bring a new idea into the population, how they can escape from the shell and confinement of that caterpillar and create something more sustainable, something more beautiful. And from the information of these imaginal cells, the cells start to gather around and create a new civilization. And the new civilization builds a brand new thing called the butterfly. The butterfly is an evolutionary advance over the caterpillar. And flying out of the broken skin of the dying caterpillar comes a new civilization. This is not the end. This is the beginning. The beginning of something much greater than humans have ever experienced on this planet before. The creation of a new organism, humanity. Every human is a cell in the body of this wonderful, evolving organism. What we're facing today is a world that is in late stage caterpillar. So it becomes very important for us to let go of the old and start to gravitate to the new because we are leaving behind a world that is no longer sustainable and moving into a world in which we can thrive.